The Gaza Strip Show. The Gaza Strip 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 Show. The Gaza 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 Strip Show is a political cabaret set in the underground tunnels of the Gaza Strip. It's a very uh, quirky and very lush kind of cabaret and basically the story of the Gaza Strip show is about a little girl called Lily who runs away from something. She's a young girl that falls into a hole and lands in a um, tunnel in the Gaza Strip and in that tunnel she meets a lot of interesting characters um, until she gets to a um, cabaret which is run by Madame Gaza. Madame Gaza is the madame of the cabaret. The cabaret is basically a cover story for her work as a weapon dealer. She's a very complex, strong woman. She's um, the war profiteer. She's anyone, not from any particular side, anyone who profiteers from war. She has two MCs who are like, her two sort of little helpers, and they're called Diamond Big and Diamond Yummy. We have Uwe Shafir, who plays Diamond Big, and he's a, an actor and a dancer. He danced at Bachella Ensemble. And we have the gorgeous Gore, who is Diamond Yummy, who is a brilliant actor, also very intuitive, very fun to work with, very intelligent. He's uh, this sort of a vampire magician that kind of lures the, the audience into the into the tunnel but he always has this kind of relationship or kind of a, a vague memory of what it is to be upstairs and also kind of sort, sort of attraction to the human that he once was. He's a little puppy so I guess he's uh, he's getting feed uh, he's getting some attention when he wants to. In daylight he works smuggling weapons and at night he's one of the the finest uh, MC, but one day he won't be a puppy anymore. He will be a big dog. <laughs> a big, scary, intimidating dog. And of course I have Miranda Borman. She's one of the most gifted, gifted actors I had ever worked with. We did a crowdfunding campaign, got the money and she put on a plane and she landed two days ago. She plays a whole gamut of characters. I play a Scottish pilot, a UN official, a racist Catholic neighbour who whispers horrific things into people's ears, a black snake and a couple of other things, but yeah, we've yet to see if they've made it into the final cut. My characters look at how the West view and consume the conflict, which is in so many ways very flawed, contradictory and uh, also we view it with our own conceptions and our own motivations. The world that they inhabit is really surreal, so we are establishing our own rules of what happens down there. It's all quite fabulous and cabaret, uh, cabaret, but also quite brutal. These people are there because they want to make money, and when money is involved and weapons are involved, the war will continue. We try to do something that fits theater and the darkness uh, together, you know, it's, it's not supposed to be like everyday music, it's supposed to give something more and an edgy feeling to it, that uh, you can feel the suffocating of the underworld. It's very fantastical and very unique, um, especially for a political show, it's from Israel, it's a different voice. It's a woman, it's, uh, it's new, it's fresh. It's a rare thing, I think, in political works that you're allowed to enjoy the show while you're thinking about um, some pretty hardcore issues, some pretty, you know, uh, difficult issues. And I've done a lot of political work before and humour is a clever way of getting people into talking about the issues and even reflecting about their own emotions or their own part of the, of the conflict. And I think in that way, the Gaza Strip show, what I'm hoping for it to do is to allow people an entry point through humour. So it's not a, oh my god, we're going to talk now about the war, I want to go and have some wine, but it's, I'm going to sit and have a glass of wine and enjoy myself as I think about these issues. I really hope that the show would be entertaining and challenging at the same time. 
um, and would really give people something to, to think about and an experience that they won't forget. I am a dreamer and I see the show in a world tour, worldwide. I think that if we work hard, this show will be successful. Europe, I think this work would be brilliant uh, in, on the European festival circuit. I'd also love Australians to see the work. Everyone that you talk to about the show in Australia, you can just see their minds popping with, with ideas and, and people are really interested. So I think this work definitely has to tour and people have to see it. It's raw, it's contemporary. It's surreal, it's complicated. It's magical, it's refreshing, it's important. It's all very colorful, it's dark. It's really sexy. It's a lot of fun.